Ever wonder why there are so many big motorhomes with the Montana license plate? Well, I looked into it. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me. Thank you. Whether you just bought a motorhome or you're considering buying it, where should you register? Should you register in your state that you live in right now? Or do you want to consider something else? What about Montana? So why register in Montana? Well, Montana is one of the five states, I believe, that do not have a sale tax. And uh, you can register as a corporation, that's LLC, and avoid a major tax hit. So how much can you save? And is it worth doing? I looked into registering our motorhome in Montana, and this is what I found out. If I'm, if I'm wrong, if I'm factually wrong, leave me, a, leave me a note and let me know. But this is what I've found out. The cost of doing uh, registering the, the LLC in Montana is about $800, dollars uh, You will need an on-site agent and they can handle all these things for you. Also, uh, of recent, the last couple of years or so, uh, Montana has instituted a, a luxury tax on coaches uh, with the manufacturer, uh, with MSRP new over 300,000K. So if your coach was, you know, 45 foot, big it's a big diesel pusher probably had an msrp more than 300k so therefore there's a 800 dollar luxury tax these are one time one time fee so you're incorporating your llc or registering and 800 dollar luxury tax plus a couple of other little little knickknacks so you're looking at about 1600 dollars to set this up why should you do it depending in which state you live in if you live in high tax states let's call them New York, New Jersey, Illinois, California, where the sale tax in California can be anywhere from seven to 10, 10%. Well, picture this. If you are trying to register, say you bought a, I don't know, a million and a half, two million new Prevo, right? $2 million. 7% on that or seven and a half, let's make it easy. Seven and a half percent of 2 million is $150,000. Give it to the state of California. Contrast that to the cost of setting LLC in Montana for about $1,600. Well, you can see why someone would try to avoid paying that huge tax and, and do this in California. Does it make sense for you? If you live in the state that you like and it doesn't tax you every time you turn around, you may decide to register your coach in your home state. Will you pay more? Yeah, chances are, very good chances that you will. But you have to decide. So how much does it cost to register a motorhome in North Carolina? I looked at to spend some time on, on online COVID situation and the site is not exactly clear how much it costs to register a motorhome. So I ended up going down in person. Because on the website, there's a calculator that you can supposedly calculate how much it is to register. But there is a box for snowmobile, a trailer, a truck, um, mobile home. But there's really not a category for motor home, which is not the same as a mobile home. So I have to go in person and see what this comes out to. So here's the scoop on registering a motorhome in North Carolina. The legislature has put value added tax, or they're calling it the user fee tax. So there's not a sale tax per se. The sale tax, or the way we translate it, is about 3% of the value of the vehicle. But they capped the motorhomes at $2,000 maximum just like they're in the same category as a truck. So if you want to start a trucking business in North Carolina, it will cost you $2,000 to register your rig. But I guess uh, motorhomes fall in the same category. So what, what are the numbers? The moment you reach about $68,000, if you multiply that by 3%, you are looking at about $2,000. So anything over $68,000, you are looking at $2,000 user fee tax, okay? What else is included? Well, then you have your standard fees. You have your registration fee, 
disposal fee, recording fee, title fee, and just a plain fee, and I'm out, that amounts to about $200. So, and depending on the community you live in, the chances are in North Carolina, counties have their own tax. This is now called property tax. And for example, if you have a, a, a $150,000 motorhome, the state, the county will tax you about a thousand dollars and the city that you live in, they're probably going to attach their tax as well, which is probably going to be around $500 neighborhood. So you have your $2,000 user fee. You have a thousand dollar county fee. You have a $500, um, city fee. And so add a couple of hundred dollars just to be on the safe side. So you're looking at about $3,500, $3,700 for an average $150,000 motorhome. How does that compare to doing this in Montana? Well, let's look at the long-term cost. One thing to consider is how long you're going to keep the motorhome. Your first year costs are going to be fixed. In Montana, that's about $1,600 to, to set it up and all that kind of stuff. If your coach is older than 11 years in Montana, you get a permanent plate. It's a one-time gig. It's about $240 and you are done with it. After that, you have just basically, I think the right now is about $20, uh, like a fee you pay to the Secretary of State annual. And if you have your agent do it in Montana, they'll add maybe $40 to it. So it's you know, maybe $60 a year for as long as you Keep your, keep your motor home. You're looking at that second year, third year, fourth year. Your cost is going to be anywhere from forty, from twenty to sixty dollars, depending whether you file it yourself or you send to your agent. So that is the really positive, really low cost. If you maintain residency, for example, in North Carolina, so I had my upfront cost the first year. The first time you register, you have your $2,000 user fee, you have your $1,000 county tax, you have a $1,500 $500 city tax, you have a miscellaneous fee of a couple of hundred dollars, so you're looking about $3,700 the first year. What about the second year? Well, your standard registration is going to be you know, $45 for this, $55 for that, $15 for that. So that's a chump change. So you may be looking at $80, $90 just to register. Then you're going to have to have an inspection which I don't know what the cost of that yet is. I haven't got to that point because you have 12 months to do, do the inspection. When you come the second time around, the second year registration, you have to have an inspection. So I don't know about that. But what else does anything else changes? Well, the, the, the county and a city will continue billing you for as a property tax. So maybe your first year, they assessed your coach at 150. So the second year, they might come back and say, well, now we think it's worth 140 or 130 or something. So your $1,000 county tax may drop to 950 and your city tax may drop from 500 to 450, but you're still looking $1,500 plus a little miscellaneous, so still $1,600. So this is your second year, your third year, your fourth year. And for as long as you own the coach, those are your cost of registering the vehicle. So does it make sense to register in Montana? Yes, it does. Numerically speaking, it does. But you have to consider. <laughs> I don't know, this is kind of weird, but maybe this is just me. Do you feel that the taxes that you pay in your state are working for you? In other words, do you feel that you are overtaxed? Or do you feel that the amount of taxes that you pay to your property income and whatnot it kind of provides certain services because if you want to live in a civilized society, you kind of have to pay for certain services. That's what the taxes do. Do you live in a state where you feel that you are overtaxed? I'm going to use California as an example with their, you know, say 10% tax. And upfront cost being in tens of thousands of dollars, that may be the easy one to drop and go on to something else. I don't know, maybe you are living in California, you're patriotic, you like the sun, you like the beach, or I don't know what it is that you would live there. But, but if you do, maybe you are that kind of a person. But you see why a lot of people are doing this Montana LLC, 
because it's it's a lot of money involved. So it just it's it, I guess it's a sometimes it's a personal choice. Maybe it's the, some kind of moral value, but certainly is always economic value. And we all kind of the old saying, follow the money. Now one thing to keep in mind, even though it may be completely legal and it is uh, to register your your coach in Montana, it does not mean that your state is going to be all thrilled about it. It doesn't mean they're going to let you go that easily, especially in New York. I mean, New York is going after dead people all the time because they just won't let you go. You know, once you are a resident of New York, they want money any which way they can get it. So you may be doing the right thing for yourself. And certainly financially makes a lot of sense. But before you do it, check with your state 